some safe time. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I put in it, especially if it comes out great. Now, uh, right now, I have uh, a mixture that I put together. And don't mind the background noise. I know that you have to So for this recipe, I'm going to make my meat first. And then we're going to make some nice buns. food that tastes like uh, if you're vegan why are you making food that tastes like meat well because some people like the taste of it and if I can make them something that tastes great and make you healthy uh, and not hurt an animal that's my mission so there you go so back to the recipe I will mark it for you guys exactly what I did to it and by the way I did one and a half cups so far but I might do a little more just to let you know and then I'm going to show you the texture of the meat.
I don't have any aluminum paper ready for me, so I have to use some new paper. But I also try not to break my paper and use that as long as I can use it. I think I might have had some in my... I might have had some inside my... Okay, so 
275 and just wait till when you put your hand in the oven it feels nice and warm but not that you feel like you're cooking something it has to feel like i say a warm or a hot summer day then you know you can put your bread to cook so then you're going to shut off the oven and you're going to put uh, your dough in there and it's going to cook nice and easy for you you won't cook it otherwise you won't if you find it's still too hot in there then wait a few minutes wait till it cools off again and then put your
flower the bottom of my perfect when you're pulling apart your me oh look at the beautiful stripes it's really warm to do it you know, it doesn't have your meat doesn't have to be perfectly pulled here it's got to go down the same hole as ever
uh, maybe a little bit of heat, right? See what I do? I let them dry up. If I have too many, I just take some and start drying them up the when I need them. Makes life a little easier.
bit. Crunch, crunch. 